evening everybody humble here now this is a pretty important update for you if you are a content provider for YouTube and you uh, monkey with cars and you use the content manager and the showroom in order to set your flames remember this car on the last video the flames were the reverse of where they're supposed to be take a look at them now and um this is why I freaked out when they weren't even close to right, because take a look at how nicely they really set up. They're really at the right angle. They're almost perfect. Not perfect, but very close to perfect. And uh, it's not easy to do. Um, <clears throat> and it's very time-consuming. So when it didn't work for me, I was exasperated. Well, I told Jody about it, and now he's busy. He's working 14 hours a day uh, doing taxes. He's a... Uh, you know, accountant. But he he hates to see me floundering and having a hard time, so out of the kindness of his heart, he did a little bit of digging, and he found out that the custom shaders, not the content manager, has updated many, many times in the last couple of weeks, and that is what buggered the living shit out of this right here. They work. How did we get them to work? I uninstalled the content manager, and I and Jody supplied me um, with one that was just out previous to when there was a problem with it. Okay, so all we had to do is really simple. I'm gonna I'm gonna no monkey business. I'm gonna get right to the to the meat and potatoes of this whole thing tonight, and um, he was able to fix the. Uh, not the speedometer, but the tachometer being jerky and jumpy. Uh, the, the guy just wiped the slate clean of a lot of the problems that I've been having lately. And, um, man, we're closer. All the, oh, not only that. Come on, come on. I've, there's so, he did so much today that I've just got to take you and show you. But here's the thing. If you're having problems with, with the cars, you're having weird, odd problems with the with the the content manager showroom. It's real simple. Wherever you've got the things set up, now I've got mine on my documents right here. So let's come, that's the operating system drive. It doesn't have to be in a subtle course. It can be any place. It can be on any drive, but it needs to be on a drive that's writable and readable both. And if we come down to, there it is, content manager right there, you'll see that this is where it is. All right, now they just put this in there today, and this is an older one. This is from like three months ago, four months ago, before we had this rash of updates. All you have to do simply, and I'm going to do this. I'm going to give it to you. Where? Let's go to right here, um, old content manager. Here's uh, the new one right here, new version, right there. I'm going to give you this, April 3rd. Oh, well, it's obvious got today's date, but this is the one that's going to work no problem. Um, if, if you're having problems with the newer one, I'm going to give you this one because this one did wonderful things for me. All you have, simple, simple, simple. I'll show you how to do it. It's not scary. You're not going to screw anything up. Got to come over to settings and then uh, come to a set of Corsa. And what you're going to want to do is you want to uncheck all these things, because you're going to check them back in a, in a little bit of time, but you want to uncheck everything that has to do with shaders, patch, and saw, all right? And just uncheck it. No problem. Just do that. Make sure you keep track of your uh, developer apps and, the, and all this. You don't have to uncheck these two, but you want to do what I just showed you. And um, now let's see if there's any apps. You want to uncheck these apps. Every single one of them, especially when it has to do with, with the Sol config and the Sol weather, just uncheck them. They're not going to be harmed, They're, but this is the way to preserve them f with the change. Now, the content manager, you want to come over here to auto updates and disable the son of a bitch. You don't want any more updates, it, unless you do want updates. Now, if you want updates, then don't even bother doing any of this. Because it's a, it's auto updating on its own, and it, this is how I ended up with a lot of effing problems, um, big time. So I've disabled it. I'm not going to get any more updates. To hell with them. 
I got it working now. That's exactly the way I want it to work. So. What do we do, Humble? Well, you come back over here. It's as simple as this. You go to your, wherever you've got your content manager installed, come down to it, and delete it. Get it out of there. Take the, the shortcut out. Take it out. Take this right out of here. Okay? Um, you can leave the folder for where the new one's going to go. And then when you, you get the new one, you unpack it, open this up, and it's only two things. It's a readme and this. You slide it over there. You right-click this and, and say make a, a shortcut. You guys know all about that. You're way ahead of me. And bring it on down here. Now, when you, you fire the thing up and come back to reality, um, like this, you just go back and you start um, putting your apps back checked again the way you want them. And, dude, before you know it, you're good to go. You don't even have to... Um, Put the key back in. It'll remember your key because it was just in there a little bit ago. So you, it doesn't hurt to know where that key is. But at any event, um, I didn't need it. I didn't need it at all. Luckily, I saved it in several spots just in case. But I didn't need the key. Now there was something else. You get ready for better videos than you've seen in a while. That's all I can tell you because she straightened out a lot of stuff for me. And just to have the flames so that they work. Let's go back to where we started out. Let's just grab any other any other skin. It doesn't make any difference. Come right down to the showroom. And take a look at this puppy. Now look, it's gorgeous. And And I was also having a problem with my camera. My camera was not pivoting smooth and happy like it is right now. <clears throat> it was getting lost. It would. I'd come outside. I'd be outside. I have to come back to the car. It wouldn't orbit the car properly, no matter what I did. It was a nightmare. And this happened after one of those updates. So if you've noticed some oddball things that happened to you, and you can't figure out what in the flying squirrels has uh, has transpired since the last time you had it, like the lights don't work, the flames don't work. They used to work, but today they don't work. What what the hell happened to them? I got to where I couldn't even, uh, you know me, I like to get things to light up. So I, I would come into the car and see the size of this, this machine right here. Watch this. Go back one to this main screen. Come over here to this little flat piece. See that little flat piece that it just highlighted and everything else highlighted? Well, this has a name, and the name is right here. Hit the three balls and it'll tell you what it is. All you have to do is highlight this whole name, copy it, you know, control C, and then bring that name over into your, I'm not going to do it, and I just got rid of that, didn't I? Yes. Well, anyway, you go over to the data folder, you open it up under lights, you make a new light, rename, oh God, here, hang on, it, it's going to be too hard unless you see it with your own eyes. Come on over here to lights. Boom. Now we got a shithouse load of lights, right? Because I've added a ton of stuff. You're not going to have 22 lights, but notice every single one is numbered in order, and it has to be that way. So if we were going to do this, I'm just going to do it. Come on. I'll, I'll show you how to do this. Just come on over here. Controls C. All right? See it? Uh, leaping, highlighting right there. We want to go up. Oh, that ain't what we want to do. I hit the wrong button. We want to do this. Bink, bink. Twice. Control V. Now we can't have two 22s. This one has to be a 23. And they can't be named the same thing. I don't care what you're, you're thinking. You can't have two things named the same thing. So get rid of that. Go up here and, uh, get, and do that. Now let's minimize this. Go back to the showroom. And uh, I'll show you how to do this again. So come right back to here. We want to. What we want to do is we want to touch this little spot on the side of the shifter. The first thing we got was the window. Second thing we got was what we wanted. The best way to do it to not have a, an error is to just grab the whole thing. Control C. All right. Escape. 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 Minimize. Come over to your to the new thing. It's right where we left off. Come right to here to where we get to the equal sign and slap it in there. All right. Now, if we got a two, two, and a two, it's going to be a white light. 
and it's not going to be all terribly bright, but you'll be able to see it. Come on back to here. We're done. Go to the showroom, and then just turn your lights on. Watch. Watch that thing. Look at everything light up. See that? All the stuff that was named the same thing. And actually, look, I think we even got the, the key fob. We did. All that shit just lit up right now. Oh, don't tell me I fucked this up. No, nope. get this out of the way. If anybody knows there's a key uh, a, a key command and that goes away, that would be awesome. What I wanted. Well, here's something that we. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. But I will have that content manager on Mediafire. There'll be a link in the description. If you're having problems with content manager, this is the older one that's stable before all the updates. If you're happy, don't monkey with it. If you're having troubles, do this. Trust me, it is, it straightened out several major problems I was having with the content manager, not working with Saul, not working with the shaders patch. It was a nightmare. Now, I, I appreciate the guy going out of his way to fix a few things, but, you know, nuking the entire barn just to catch one chicken isn't fun for me. So, guys, have a good weekend. God bless you. Stay safe. And um, I'll talk to you soon.